can bring you. Give it to me. Give it to me and you bore me. The dead of a palatine child. You will have needed my favorite daughter for more. Michael. But this will not end without me saying. Yeah! What's going on, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Ryan Sui. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, do all that great stuff. All right, yo. So today I want to show you guys how to face rig. You know, um, what I showed you or what you just saw was just an actual raw footage. I didn't do any editing, no correction, nothing like that. All I did was face rig and then transfer the performance onto the character called Thanos. So basically, as you can see, that some it's not really you know that. Perfect, but I'm just telling you guys, like, at least the result is like 70% there, and then we just have to go in and tweak it. So let's hop into 740. I'm going to show you guys how to face rig. People will be asking me, How do I face rig? Especially uh, in 740. So it's kind of complicated, but uh, I'm not going to go in details. I'm just going to show you guys, like, how to do it. All right. So let's begin this, shall we? I will bust your ass. All right, so we are here in Cinema 4D. And so basically, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys how to actually start up your face rigging. Um, they just enjoy it, all right? Now, if you look at the, the video I showed you, there is no eye movement happening. And I rendered that in like very quick, uh, 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 quick render, like 20 megapixels. So it's not really clear. But obviously, if I'm doing final render, it's going to be way clearer. All right, so we have panels here. Um, so obviously, um, I use pose morph so basically it has this um, different sort of like um, um, poses that you can actually have in a character and so I have it here it's right here and um, I'm just gonna show you guys the many poses that I have and uh, let's just begin so obviously we have the jaw open so basically this just opens the jaw um, we have the inner up you know now it's not it's not perfect still you know i still need to twinkle that but again what i showed you was just the raw footage i didn't do any editing and then we have the eye round down right and it's just a lot to be honest like if i open this up for you where is it Let me just open it here if i open this up for you you can see what we have here this is basically every um, joint that you really need to have in order to face rig yeah no no cap in there i can't really this is how it works man as a matter of fact people those advanced guys like in hollywood they they do way worse than this to be honest so yeah just keep in mind for that so you know um it's just basic things and um how you gonna start this you want to go over to i think it's mesh and um you want to go to the brushes so you pull this tab right here and so if you click on the uh what's the name the body you have begin to sort of like do whatever you want to do so again that's how I I uh, uh, face rig to be honest I, I don't I don't I can't show you guys like everything because it's, it's gonna take a long time you know and it's kind of stressful you know and I need to focus what I'm doing I can't really be talking maybe I'll do one t one live video how I'm doing it uh, maybe so as you can see that you know uh, there is no now it's not moving because I have this um, on the edit mode so I'm gonna put that animation now if you guys watch the video we can see that there's a little bit of error I'm just showing guys how I actually do some certain things all right so uh, I think when he said palettes and child something like that the leaps were just clumsy look at that what is this so again the problem here is sort of the mouth close due to it's not really accurate you know so I have to go here and sort of like Oh, sorry, I have to go here because we have, we have to use the master command and sort of like try to like, you know, fix that and make that reasonable. But again, that's how I sort of like correct it, you know. So uh, it's not, I don't feel like it's too much work. I just think that I try as much as possible to get the accurate poses so I don't have to be editing that, you know. So yeah, man, I'm actually working on a, on a, on a new um scene uh sort of like short clip 
I want to be doing one versus one, not like multiple character, because I, I, I went through a lot with the other one, and I don't think I want to be doing that anytime soon. Yay! So yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> obviously this is a this is a nice car. I just I just have time to sit down. This nice car, you know, man, looked like a real OG right here. So for the for the neck uh, animation, what I did was I just transferred all the all the, 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 the movement I did with the uh, face capture, which is right here, I just transferred that to the head. So if we if I open this up for you, this is the timeline F curve. This is what we have. So basically, if the head doesn't move the way you want it to, all you gotta do is come down here and just sort of try to uh, um, correct some things here. So yeah, man, it's fun, right? It's, a, it's fun, you gotta go and correct some things. And uh, for some reason, I don't know why this is happening that way. Yeah, okay. So you got to like go down here, correct some things, you know. Yeah. I'm just showing you guys how this CG stuff work. Because some people think it's just uh, easy work, but <laughs> bro, it's not, man. And the cloth right here is actually simulated. You know, I, 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 want, I want to create more a much more realistic... Uh, um, cloth so basically as you can see right here the cloth is here and then if I play it it's down there so I simulated a cloth so basically if he moves his arm the cloth is gonna it's gonna move like a cloth that's just what that means right I mean like you know adding some weights to the cloth which would just make it look kind of crumbsy all right so basically that's that's everything about you know um, the, the the face we want to show you guys it's not really again I didn't really go into De depth on how to do it. I'm just like showing you guys my workflow. I'm gonna do the eyes later on, but the eyes are quite easy just because it's the eyes. You know, I just gotta move this left, right, or whatever. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Take it easy and peace. Yeah, I'm down. What's up?